and we will discuss about the property of charges. Nearly four properties are there. Force between charges, conservation of charge, quantization of charge, and activity of charge. And we will discuss one by one. First of all, we will discuss about force between charges. Practically, it is observed. When two positive charges are there, then they repel each other. When two negative charges are there, they also repel each other. And then you can see that whenever similar charges are there, they always repel each other by the force. Repulsion. Force of repulsion is there between like charges. When opposite charges are there, one is positive, another one is negative, then they attract each other by a force. It means you can say that force of attraction is there and it is observed practically. It means you can say that there may be a force of attraction or repulsion between two charges and depends upon the nature of charges. When similar charges are there, they always repel each other and whenever opposite charges are there, they attract each other. Now, we will go to second point and that is conservation of charge. Before discussing about the conservation of charge, uh, I am taking an example. Suppose it is your phone and five members are there and you are in isolation at your own due to coronavirus. Okay. Let me check on that. No member can leave the home and no person or member can enter in your home. Let me stop the member of your family will remain five. Let me check on that. It will be constant. Throughout the ISIS same conditions is applicable for conservation of charge. Conservation means constant. The value of charge will not be changed under some special condition. Suppose it is an isolated system. Having a charge of 5 micro. The charge may be positive and may be negative. Isolated system means no electrons can leave the system and no electrons can enter in the system. And already I have explained only electrons are responsible to charge a body. If there is no transfer of electrons between the system, then the total charge in the system always remains constant. It means you can state the conservation of charge as the total charge on an isolated system always remain constant. In another way, you can see that charges can never be created nor destroyed. Only it can be transferred from one body to another body. 
Now we will discuss quantization of charge. Suppose body A is there having a charge of minus 2. Minus 2 means this body receives 2 electrons. Whenever any body receives electrons, it becomes negatively charged. This is body B and the charge on this body is plus 10. Plus 10 means 10 electrons are donated by this body. C. 50 electrons. 50 electrons are received by this body. Now what will be the charges on A, B and C? For body A, it will be 2A minus 3. For this body B, plus 10. For body C, minus 50. There is no fraction form of leptons because leptons can be transferred in a full number in the form of integer like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. If a system, suppose it is not a system and this system donates or receives any leptons and for n is the integer, the number of n may be 1, 2, 3 and so on. E. Then the net charge on this body will be equal to N E. Because the charge on anybody depends on the number of electrons transferred to a system and transferred by a system. It may be positive and it may be negative. Depends on the electrons are donated by the system or is this by the system. Well, the skews charge. Q is charge. And its integer and its value is 1, 2 and 3 so on. Where is the charge on electron and its value is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 90. Any quantization of charge can be stated as the total charge on an isolated system is equal to the integral multiple of charge on electron. Charge on electron is considered as a basic charge or fundamental charge. Now we will discuss additivity of charge. Additivity of charge means additive property of charge. Suppose this is system A contains four bodies. Charge Q1, charge Q2, charge Q3 and charge Q4. These are the charges on four bodies. Therefore, Net charge on this body A will be Q equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4. Now I am taking another body B. Also it contains four bodies having the charge Q1 minus Q2 minus q3 and plus q4. Here q2 and q3 are positive but here q2 and q3 are negative. And now we have to find the net charge on this body B. Qb equal to q1 plus minus q2 plus minus q3 and plus q4. Whenever we have to add the charges, we have to add them with their signs. 
Sign means whenever positive charges is there, we have to apply positive sign and whenever negative charges are there, we have to use negative sign. For a system of antibodies, the total charge will be Q equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus up to Qn. If anybody contains negative charge, we have to use negative sign. And if body contains positive charge, we have to use positive sign. So, additivity of charge means total charge on a system is equal to the algebraic sum of the charges on individual bodies of the system.